Well, as Bill Clinton gets ready to step up his role in his wife's presidential campaign, new questions about some of his speaking engagements. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that more than two dozen companies and groups and one foreign government paid the former president a total of more than $8 million to give speeches around the time they also had policy matters before Hillary's State Department. And in some cases, actions by the State Department benefited those that paid him. Fifteen of them also donated millions to the family's charity. The Clinton campaign tells the journal no evidence exists to link any actions taken by her State Department to any of the organizations that hosted Bill's speeches. The Wall Street Journal also reporting it found no such evidence. All right, Melissa, when this oh. story began breaking this morning, and Megan, I see you shaking your head at <laughs> everybody. This, Ridiculous. This is going to be huge, and you dug deeper into some of the numbers here. It, yeah, I mean, let me just tell you about one of the cases, one of the details. So the Abu Dhabi government and Etihad Airlines were trying to get um, the ability for their passengers and their citizens to clear customs in Abu Dhabi, get right on the flight, fly to the U.S., get off and go straight to baggage claim. This is a huge advantage. It only happens in, I think, Ireland, Canada, and their three Caribbean countries. Mm -hmm. And they were petitioning for this before the State Department and Homeland Security when Hillary Clinton was the Secretary of State. At the time when they were trying to get this privilege, and the unions and the airlines here were fighting it like crazy because it would essentially mean that they would own this air route. If they could give their customers that convenience, everybody would fly this airline. While they were petitioning for this, Bill Clinton gave two speeches. They were each 20 minutes, mm. and he got a half a million dollars yeah. for each. Wow. Sponsored by the Abu Dhabi government and also Etihad Airlines. One week after he gave the second speech and he got the second half million dollars, million dollars total, the State Department cleared it. They got this route. The flights are now in the air. Now, they say there's no evidence. I mean, what evidence are you looking for? An email to Hillary Clinton that says, hey, guess what? If we give your husband a million bucks, will you please approve this? And her saying, yes, deal done. I mean, is that the smoking gun they're looking yeah. for? To me, the smoking gun is in the payment, the fact that it was approved, the timing. I mean, yeah. what more evidence do you need? It's appalling. $500,000 for 20 minutes. Each, so a million, yes. two 20 minute speeches, a million bucks well, to him, not the, the foundation. The foundation has been probably the middle guy, so they are giving this money to the foundation. That's in separate. Return. This was to him directly. Well, this is a co major conflict of interest, unfortunately, especially when your wife is in charge of making major decisions with these countries. Appalling. And it was also getting earlier visas to the country and earlier entrance to the country. Things. All kind of things. Well, my favorite is that he got a personal thank you call from Vladimir Putin after he was paid $500,000 at a Renaissance Capital <coughs> Investors Conference. Right. So Hillary Clinton's going to go on TV and say that Vladimir Putin's a horrible dictator and a monster. You're getting personal phone calls at the same time after you get a half a million dollars. It doesn't need to be, like you said, like an email that says, oh, something nefarious is if going on. If you give me this, I'll give you that. Yeah, let me bring you in here because we're, I want to remind everybody that at Hillary Clinton's confirmation hearing for Secretary of State, she promised she would take, quote, extraordinary steps to avoid even the appearance of a conflict of interest. What more evidence do we need than so what we have from here is the Here is the difficulty for me and a lot of people who support Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. You agree with her on the issues. But then this kind of stuff keeps popping up over and over and over again. And yeah. it just makes you go, ugh. Because it, it's, it's to the point where you can't defend this kind of stuff. It is such an obvious, glaring conflict of interest. I don't understand. Look, Either the Clintons decided that they were going to make a lot of money and it's their prerogative to do that, or they were going to go into public service. To do that at the same time and have overlaps like this, it just, even if there is no smoking gun, as you said, it doesn't look good. It smells. It's horrible that optics. Is the smoking gun. It's, it's horrible optics, and I don't understand why they were persistent. And how much it. money do you need? How much? Yeah, that's exactly, I, I don't know. more money than God. I don't know. So, Megan, why do you need another million does bucks? Does it hurt her at all? Oh, yeah. I think this will be, come up. Uh, in the next debate, if not the general election debate. And again, I think with everything with the Clintons, this is just the beginning, the tip of the iceberg. I think it's going to get a whole lot worse. And I really do think that getting personal phone calls from Putin at the same time, you're publicly, uh, you know, talking bad about him. You can't point fingers at Donald Trump for having a relationship with him and liking him when you're doing that at the same time. Anytime you get $5,000 per word, that's a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, that, you, can't, you, can't, you can't begrudge him for that because that's what the market will bear. If somebody's dumb enough to pay somebody half a million dollars for a speech, they're not paying for this speech. Uh,